So here's the deal with filet. With anything, any type of meat that you're cooking like this and you want to get a really good sear, that amazing crust that you literally just want to sink your teeth into, then you really need room temperature meat. So that means take it out about an hour before. If you're coming home from the grocery store, you've got the meat, just leave it out on the counter. It doesn't really matter. So the next key is you're gonna need an oven and you're gonna need a pan on a stove. You're gonna make sure that you use a cast iron pan. It could be stainless steel, but you just don't wanna use nonstick because then you're not gonna get that sear that you're looking for with that crust. So you wanna get it on a nice high heat. You wanna have your oven nice and hot, 400 degrees. So what I'm gonna do first, and this is the most important part of making the fillets, is, well, one of the most important parts is seasoning. So that means salt and pepper, and I mean, we're seriously, we're gonna make it rain on this meat right now. All right, so our pan is smoking hot right now, and that means that it's time to add some oil. So you could use whatever oil, something with a high smoke point, so vegetable oil, canola oil. And in goes the meat. This is a beautiful thing. Oh my gosh, you hear that sizzle, and you know something magic is about to happen. So you're looking for a couple minutes on each side. These are really thick, so I like to kind of do all four sides rather than just the top and bottom. We're gonna get a really good sear, and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. Okay, the fire department might be here in a minute because it is smoky as a mother up in here right now. But you can see this sear is really fantastic. A pat of butter onto each steak. And into the oven it goes. Look at that. So the steak's in the oven, I'd say five to 10 minutes. Five being on the rare side, 10 being on the well done side. You don't wanna go that route if you ask me. You're making steak, you like steak. Medium rare is the way to go, so I'm gonna do about six minutes. And there's one more requirement that I forgot to tell you about this recipe, and that is wine. Okay, people, are you ready for some steak? Oh my God. You can smell the butter. We're done. Look at that gorgeousness. So now I'm just gonna put it onto a plate. I'm gonna cover it with foil and I'm gonna let it rest. Really important. This is like everything when it comes to steak. The biggest mistake you could ever make would be to cut right into that baby. Lose all of the delicious juices. You would never do a thing like that, would you? I don't think so. 10 minutes. We'll be on our way. We've been patiently waiting 10 minutes. Now it's time to rip into this bad boy and see what it's all about. Are you guys ready to dig into this piece of work? That is what I like to call a perfectly cooked steak. There are no words. The crust has so much flavor. The inside is like butter. It is amazing. That is heaven on a plate. For all of my carnivores out there, next time you're looking to go to your favorite steakhouse for a little something special, take my advice, do it yourself. You'll be so impressed and glad that you did it. Just remember, don't forget the wine, and we'll see you next time.